Hey you guys, welcome back. It's me, just Tiffany B. And before we get started, happy holidays, you guys. I hope you guys are enjoying your time. I hope you guys are off of work, off of school, whatever it is that's stressful for you. Enjoy your time off. I hope you're with your loved ones, being safe. Enjoy Thanksgiving while it's here. As you can tell by the title, I'm here to talk about Kylie and her holiday collection that has dropped today. I know, I know, I usually put up these videos before the drop time so you guys can like hear my thoughts and views on it and see if it helps you guys out. I'm sorry I didn't get it up in the um, decent amount of time for you guys to watch. You know, makeup companies want to hide their prices for some reason. So um, as soon as I found out the prices, this is the quickest I could film it and put it up for you guys. So I am sorry. Hopefully in the future they could just list their prices as soon as they drop the advertisements. Like I really don't understand why they advertise about the makeup, but they don't want to show us the prices until a few hours before the drop site. I feel like that's very annoying for me. Like, especially for me as a consumer, like I need to say if I see something I'm interested in, I need to see the price right away so I can start organizing my money to see if I want to put it here or somewhere else. Especially with Black Friday and all these deals running around, I need to organize myself to see where I'm going to spend my money and where I'm not going to do that. So that is a little annoying for me and that's my excuse for why it's up so late because I don't want to film the video without the prices. So I have all the correct information. So I'm done rambling. Let's go ahead. Oh, quick disclaimer though. Gotta throw that out here for these haters. In no way, shape, or form do I already have this makeup. I'm just voicing my opinions on this makeup. So if you if you clicked on this video to see the makeup in hand, I'm sorry, boo. I'm sorry. I don't have it in hand. I'm just voicing my opinions and letting you know if it's worth it or not. Hopefully my opinions matter. If not, maybe this is not the video for you. <laughs> Alright, so enough chit chat. Let's go ahead and dive right on in into this video. Alright, so if you don't know, I know. So let me hook you up with this information. There's two drops to her holiday collection. Now she said the first one that she already dropped today. This one she said that we're used to seeing from her. So this is like the regular smuggler holiday collection that she use, usually drops. Right, so this is what we used to see from her. She said the second one though, she said the second one that she's dropping in December is something totally out of the box. We never seen nothing like this from her yet before. So while I am disappointed with the first drop because I'm used to seeing this over and over again and there's nothing really mm about it. So I am excited to see the second launch. Hopefully it blows the first launch out the water because the first launch ain't really tickling my feathers. I'm just saying. <laughs> so anyways, enough of that chit chat. Now you know there's a second launch coming up in December. Keep your eyes out for it. Maybe I'll do a second video about this second launch. We don't know. I'll see. In this first launch, there's not really like a lot of products that's in this first um, collection. There's two eyeshadow palettes. There's two lip sets. There's one wet set. There's one makeup bag. And there's one new lip kit. As always, there is a bundle as well. So first things first, these eyeshadow palettes. Now there's two different eyeshadow palettes that she came out with. One's naughty and one's nice. Which one are you? <laughs> Both of these eyeshadow palettes are priced for $44. Now when I saw that price, I'm like, really? That's kind of cheaper than your usual palettes, Kylie. Now, um, for example, her uh, vacation collection, the, her eyeshadow palettes, it had 16 eyeshadows in it and it was $52. These um, holiday collection palettes, they have 14 eyeshadows in both of them and they're $44. So she did knock off $8 and it, it's only missing like two eyeshadows. So she's bumping down the price and we're not losing so much product. I'm liking the direction she's going in with her prices. The only thing I have to say for both eyeshadow palettes. I don't understand the color selection for both palettes. Like when I'm looking at both palettes. I see like one or two eyeshadow looks that I could create with it, but that's it. Like, 
I feel like they're just random. This is my opinion. Like, I feel like they're just random eyeshadows that were selected together and bam, put some really bomb packaging on it, lowered the price, which is really good, and like, bam, you guys can buy this. I don't really get a lot of creativity when I look at those eyeshadow palettes, so I'm gonna pass on both of those. But I do like what she's doing with the price, you know. The next thing is her lip sets. Sugar and spice. In the sugar, there are two glosses. Um, both of them are like glittery glosses. There's Savage, which is a velvet lipstick. There's Boy Bye, which is a velvet lipstick. And there's Angel, which is a matte lipstick. In spice, there is Juniper, which is a gloss. Hollyberry, which is a matte. Cinnamon, which is a gloss. Goals with it, which is a velvet and clove, which is a matte lipstick. I do like the spice lip set better than the sugar because the spice is more warmer, and those are the colors that I usually draw for. I really loved how she mixed up the formulas, so you're really getting a little bit of everything to try out from her formulas. And like Kylie's um, lip products are very bomb, you know what I mean? So, the only thing is, I don't understand why it's $60 now. Is not such a bad price. The only thing is when she does her lip bundles, they're ridiculously a good price. For example, her Coco collections, there's four lip products in there and it was for $40. So I thought, okay, that's five lip products in there, so I thought it would be for $50. It's not a big jump in price. It's just a little up there because when I hear $60 for some lip sets, you know, I'm like, ugh. <laughs> but I still, hopefully when she restocks, I still will get my hands on Spice. So, moving on. Her new lip kit is called Red Velvet, and it is a velvet liquid lip set with a liner. And that one is gonna be for $27. It's red, and it's a velvet. Now, I have a lot of reds in my collection, more than just this one. And I don't know why, but I feel like this is the year of red lippies. Kylie came out with a new red lippy. Fenty's dropping a new red lippy. Colourpop with um sarah dropped the red lippy patrick star with mac is dropping a red new lippy like there's just a lot of reds going around so i think i'm gonna pass on this one i don't need no more reds you know i think i got it all down so i'm gonna pass on this one because there's so many reds that you could dupe that color from that i'm not gonna spend 27 dollars on it i'm sure you can find a comfortable red lippy like 27 dollars not needed. You could do a red lipstick. You could do it. I bet you already have it in your collection. I bet you do. Her makeup bags are thirty-six dollars. They're always been. It's always been thirty-six dollars with every different launch that she has been before. Um, I usually pass out on them before. The only one that I couldn't pass up is this pink one. Oh my gosh. Okay, sorry. 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 But yeah, this this pink one I couldn't pass it up because you know pink is my favorite color. And when I saw that it was glitter with the lip dropping, like it, I just had to do it. I just had to do it. I'm sorry. But this one, when I in her holiday collection, is just a matte green makeup bag for $36, it's not needed. And the last product in the collection is the wet set. I would love to try out the wet set, but when I see a price for $62, and there's only four different like shades in there, I'm good. Somebody did recommend me to try out the ColourPop Super Shop Cheek. Um, the one I picked up is the Chero, it's a tie-dye one. This highlighter right here is gorgeous. It's wet to touch. I feel like it's a really good dupe for the wet set because this one is very wet and cushiony, just like the wet set. And you get to choose like which colors you want. So really check out ColourPop's highlighters for it. But the wet set, I'm sorry, can't do it. It's just unneeded. It's unneeded, like $62, I'm good. But the bundle has everything included except the wet set for $250. I'm sorry, but like to hear $250 and then you realize it still doesn't come with everything like the wet set, like those prices is starting to get really up there and it, I'm surprised it doesn't have everything included, like that's expensive. I don't think the bundle is really necessary except it, 
if you only like really really want everything that comes along in the bundle like you don't need both eyeshadow palettes i don't think you need either of them you don't need both lip sets you don't I, I i think you could choose between one of them the makeup bag is not really that necessary like it's not like out the park design i don't think the bundle is very necessary it's very expensive but if you, if that's your prerogative if you want to buy it go ahead do you boo i was kind of disappointed with this collection i was expecting more something different that we haven't seen before but she did say that she's gonna jump or drop a second launch in december so i'm just looking out for it i'm surprised she didn't bring back her powder her loose powder highlighters maybe she might with the second launch that's dropping you guys let me know what you already picked up from the collection if you picked up anything let me know if you're thinking about picking up anything and go ahead and um voice down in the comments sections how you feel about the collection are you excited about what's already launched for me i just feel like um it lacked luster the collection lacked luster like I wasn't really truly excited for anything. The only thing I'm like, okay, I got my eye on was the Spice lip set. But other than that, when I saw the collection, it was just like, mm. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Bye.